Hello guys, this is my 1991 Toyota pickup 3VZE 3.0 liter four wheel drive extended cab. Um, it's not the SR5, it's the deluxe because it doesn't offer some of the features like automatic windows, but I don't really care, it's fine. It's my first car, so I'm happy with this. And it's a five speed manual, four wheel drive right there, shifted in there. A stupid little buzzer that goes on that lets you know that the car is on and the keys are in the ignition. And this truck has a pretty pretty low miles on it. 150,000, little over 150,000 original miles on it. Which is not bad for a 1991. This truck's older than I am, so yeah. And um, here let me just take this out. Um, I got some speakers put in there because the old ones weren't kicking anymore. Here's some of the extended cab. Got the jump seats. So, pile some of my two of my friends back there. I could have had the chance to put subwoofers back here, but I didn't want to lose my extended cab because I like it. I can put my stuff back there because I'm getting ready to go to college, so it's a good thing to have. Um, yeah, overall the interior is pretty nice in here. The only flaw in every other Toyota pickup I see is the driver's side seat. It always has that little rip right there, most of them that I've seen at least, but that's, that's usual, that's normal. But other than that, the seats... The cloth and everything's in not ripped, it's in good condition. That's the only rip right there. And um of course the dash, um the dash has a few little cracks right there. Mm, right there. That's why I just put I put a little dash mat over it so you can can hide it as well as these cloths. But yeah, this is pretty much, oh yeah, and up there, this is really one of the only flaws in here. People try to go grab for the visor, rip that, and it's another little rip right there, but that's about it inside the in, inside. It's pretty, pretty nice inside, nice interior, the carpet's great. Here, let's see some out. Let's, show you some outside okay well when I first got this truck it was stock it was red the paint was faded on it trust me I tried to buff it out with all these compounds it worked a little bit but it just it just went back to what it was before like in a few weeks kind of ticked me off all that work and just went away like that so I decided to get it repainted which was pretty pricey but I found a good deal on this truck I picked it up for 2500 with only 148,000 miles on it and that's a pretty good deal because uh, 4 by 4s are hard to come by like this well to me at least this isn't really one of the popular years not like oh not the solid axle but it's my first car and I'm I'm actually really satisfied with this I, I made it the way I want it to look put fender flare, bushwhacker fender flares on the on the sides got them painted to the exact color as the the truck which is a gloss black and I took the stock tires off put 33 inch 33 by 10 inch BF Goodridge all terrains on there and the rims are pro comp they're 15 by 10 beadlock rims And I put the little TRD decal on there just for fun. It looked cool. Yeah, and when I when the truck got repainted and stuff, the all the old decals had to come off. So I put this one on. It's the closest one I could find to the original, but 
it still looks pretty good. Yeah, the back window is decked out with all these stickers. I do ride, just, just to let you guys know I ride. And I actually put this rhino liner on the back because there's a plastic bed liner in it, but I didn't really like it that, that much because kept on stuff just kept on getting underneath of it. So I just put like three coats of rhino liner on here. So it's pretty good. And oh yeah. Suspen I got a suspension lift on it. Let's see. By Pro Comp, four inch suspension lift kit. It's not the best lift kit, but it's what I could really afford because I worked really hard over the summer to get the, get all the money to buy a truck, and I may, I'm just making this the way I wanted to make it. Oh yeah, my class number, 2012. So, yeah, there's still some things I might want to put on here, like put a little skid plate under there, a little pro comp skid plate that fits onto the suspension kit. But overall, this is pretty flawless. No dents in it, no dings at all. Okay, well, start this bad boy up, pop the hood. Got the clutch start cancel. So, let's put the key in. Annoying beeping noise. Okay. Oh yeah, something else, my clock is a little messed up. The buttons are gone, but no biggie. And I'm missing one of the little nubs right there. Oh, and I got a new stereo, so I can connect my iPod auxiliary cable to it. Yeah, okay, let's pop, let's pop see what's underneath this bad boy. motor's a little dirty, but like I said, it's a 20, 21 year old truck, or way older than I am, but pretty, pretty, pretty good clean running motor, no problems yet. Oh, well, actually there was a little problem, we got, we got it fixed in the, actually fixed it with Buddy, Buddy. The idler tensioner wore out, the ball bearings just wore down and just blew up everywhere, thus throwing the timing belt off and making everything go off. So I had to get in there, get the timing belt, realign them up with the camshafts and everything, get a new water pump, and just get new, get all new belts and tensioners. And I got a new power steering reservoir and pump that I, I put in So, yeah. Pretty good running truck. Oh yeah, and as you can see, it has the red undercoat in there. This is the original this was the original color of the truck, but I'm not going to pay for them the paint underneath of it, that's just ridiculous. And yeah, as you can tell, this it's really clean. I just cleaned it up for this occasion just to record it, but it's usually dirty. I do off-road with it, this, so this thing does see dirt, just putting that out there. I do Put it, I do put it, put it in four wheel drive and go out and drive when I go riding out in the desert. So, yeah, it's my truck. Thanks for checking this out, you guys.